bugs all over the mosquitoes. Like, what is going on? They say if you have warm blood, you attract more mosquitoes. I'm Mexican. I'm brown. Like it's I'm warm blooded as it is. I'm not complaining. It's like and What is up guys and welcome back to the John Q channel. What is up? Thanks so much for watching. I'm John Q. Duh. In today's video, we're gonna go over kind of the few things that I have made a somewhat of a checklist for when I go drone shopping and maybe you're in the market for a drone. Maybe you have some extra cash laying around. Maybe you just want a drone to get some cool aerial footage for your videos. Whatever it may be, I'm gonna go over kind of the checklist of what I've made up and what I need. Uh, for a drone when I go make a purchase, so it's a well thought out, oh my gosh, <laughs> strategic purchase of a drone. It's, now there's mosquitoes on my lens, oh my goodness. Now I'm distracted, what was I saying? Something about drones and checklist. Mosquitoes, oh my gosh, mosquitoes are, this is the worst spot ever. We're talking about the DJI Mavic Pro, this guy right here. We're gonna go over it, we're gonna talk about it. Three quick things as to what I look for and what you maybe should look for. So before we even get started, I love B-roll. You know that I love the B-roll. You know that I love the cool, smooth, slow motion shot. So let's roll that intro video. Like I used to do that thing with the gun, but it's like guns are kind of a kind of thing now. So I don't, I don't know. Usually I'm holding the camera and I just go and then it transitions to the next sequence. So spots like back there full of mosquitoes full of mosquitoes cool and I still haven't taken my jacket off whatevs it's summertime and I still had a jacket over here I'm just a fool with a jacket on in summertime so if you're in the market for a drone this is my checklist for you know picking out a drone and it's usability ease of use and of course, video quality. This video is not going into the complexity of this drone and what it can do and what it is. It's more so how I can use it in an everyday you know, situation. When I need a drone, A, it should fit really easy in my backpack and it should be able to be on the go ready for me to just literally go on the go and then use it, fly it, bring it back, and then hey, I'm done, I got drone footage. So ease of use. Is the DJI Mavic Pro, is this drone easy to use? Uh, and its usability, I would say yes. I mean, it's a little bit bigger than some of the drones out there, but it's actually not that bad. If you fold this drone all the way up in, like, it's, it's compact, right? So if I fold it up, it, it can literally fit in some of my pockets. It can fit in the pocket of my backpack, and I also can fit it into one of the low pro zip-up pouches. And in terms of usability and ease of use, that's an A+. It really is compact. For reference, this is my phone, and this is the Mavic Pro. I mean, obviously it's not as thin, but as far as how chunky and how compact it can be, ease of use, it checks my uh, box there. And then next thing on my checklist when I'm looking for drones is usability. And that basically means it, you can intertwine that with ease of use, but the usability of the drone is actually really important. And that actually goes into the actual drone remote and how well they interact along with the phone app and how that all interacts with you using and the ability to use the drone and how easy it is to set up. The usability of the drone with the app, with the phone and the remote is a 10 out of 10 only because I was able to actually take it out of the box, set it up and within minutes I was flying. The usability of the drone and the remote together itself actually is a 10 out of 10, really not that not that hard to actually maneuver and you won't actually lose signal because this actually has RC, I believe it's RC, that's what it is, okay, <laughs> that was, I had to make sure. Connection for these drones is made through Wi-Fi connection. On the DJI Mavic Pro, it's RC connection, which basically means the stronger connection, 
uh, versus Wi-Fi. And when I was, you know, flying my drone with other drones like the Mavic Air and Mavic Spark, I would be having connection through Wi-Fi and sometimes I would lose that connection and it would kind of just like go black and then come back to the picture, go black, come back to the picture. But with the RC connection on the Mavic Pro, I'm good to go. I never had interruptions. I never get blackouts. I literally see my picture for about 23 to 30 minutes and it's golden. So when I say usabil uh, usability in, in that sense, that's what I mean. And I would say that should be second on your checklist only because you want to buy a drone not for you know, the, the specs, really, it's more so I want to just get my drone up and fly and get some really cool footage of the city, forest, river, whatever it is. I just want to make sure that it's, it's good. Which leads me to my last point in my checklist, and that's video quality. Of course, you're going to get really good video quality the more that you spend in drones somewhat, but sometimes you can get some bad quality. Now, for about, I would say... A thousand to twelve hundred bucks, you can get some really good video quality from the Mavic Pro. I usually shoot in 4K at 24p, and sometimes I go 2.7K at 30 frames a second. When I really want to slow stuff down, I go to 60 frames a second. But for the most part, I shoot in 4K. And let me tell you, the 4K on this drone, the Mavic Pro, is super, super nice. Even when I start taking pictures, it actually doesn't lose any quality. Everything is crisp, it's sharp, even at a flat profile. I don't have to change anything in the profiles itself. I don't have to go, you know, any sharper, any more contrast. I can fix that in post. So video quality on the Mavic Pro, superb. 4K, love it. And... That's pretty much it. I mean, there's more that goes into picking out different drones and picking out, you know, specs and knowing, having the know-how as to what you should choose, when you should buy it, and all that stuff. So there it is, guys. Those are my three points on my checklist when I'm in the market for a drone. Hopefully it helped you in your journey and your buying process of a drone. If you don't know anything about drones, I'd consider that you watch more, do some more research, learn about specs, learn about drones, and all that stuff. But hopefully this checklist has helped you and will continue to help you in others. So if you think there's anything that I left out or you have anything else that I should put on my checklist, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know what that is and start a conversation. And with that being said, guys, I'm going to head out. I'm going to go enjoy the summer day and I'll catch you next time on the Johnny Q channel. Peace. <sighs> mosquitoes. It's hot and there's mosquitoes.